similar triangles by, by angle, angle similarity. We've discussed that. Side angle, side similarity, and side, side, side similarity. Oh, boy. Okay, so uh, these are postulates or theorems. So, um, and then here's what we've discussed already. If two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles in another triangle, then the triangles are similar by angle, angle similarity. I have pictures of this to remind us. Okay, this one's a new one here. If two uh, sides of one triangle are in proportion, remember proportion is a fraction equaling a fraction, uh, in proportion to two sides of another triangle, uh, then the, and the included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar by side, angle, side. I'll show you that in a picture in just a second, you guys. And then finally, uh, if three sides of one triangle are in proportion to three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are similar by what's called the side, side, side similarity method. So here's, here's a picture. Here's an angle, angle similarity. See how these two angles are equal to these two angles. So these two triangles are similar by angle, angle similarity. And notice uh, ABC went from uh, two uh, marks to one mark to no mark. So I got to go from two marks to one mark to no mark. So DEF. Okay, here's a picture of side angle side, or I'm sorry, side 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 similarity. And it says this, you guys, if, if this side over this side is equal to the bottom piece over the bottom piece is equal to this side over this side, that means all three sides are in proportion, fractions equaling fractions then the triangles are similar by side, side, side. So there would be lengths, you guys, on this side and lengths on this side right here. So if I saw all three of these sides having lengths and all three of these sides having lengths, I would suspect side, side, side similarity. And I would, I would uh, see if they're all in proportion with each other. If they are, then they're similar. And that means the angles are, are congruent. Okay, side angle, side similarity means if you have an included angle, in, be, in between the two sides, notice it's AB over DE. Okay, this side, the left side over the left side equals, this is the right side over the right side, AC over, over DF. So if lefty over lefty equals righty over righty and the included angles are equal, then by the side angle side similarity theorem, the triangles would be similar. Not congruent, similar, okay? Which means uh, everything else is in proportion and all the other angles are congruent. All right, so let's go ahead and try these. Uh, are these triangles similar? And if so, uh, write the similarity reason, the similarity and the reasons. Okay, so this is what this means, you guys. So are those triangles similar right there? Let's take this triangle ABC. Let's use a little arithmetic here from 180, 53 plus 90 plus, uh, it's probably going to be 37 when you add them up. Yes, it's 37. So they are similar by angle, angle similarity. And notice I went triangle ABC. So I went from 53 to right angle to C to, to the 37. So I have to go down here. This is the 53 to the right angle of 37. So D, E, F. Okay, got to make sure you do it in the appropriate order. How about those triangles right there? Okay, parallel lines, you see these parallel lines? Parallel lines makes corresponding angles congruent. So this angle right here equals this angle right here. Okay, and if you cut the two triangles up, they both have the same angle G right there. So there's angle G, they both share angle G. There's the two triangles separated up right there. Okay, so triangle, triangle uh, G, I, J. Uh, notice I went from uh, the blue two marks to the red arc. I got to go the blue two marks to the red arc. So G H K on this one by angle angle similarity. Angle angle similarity is the most one that's used, you guys. All right, let's uh, let's try this one. Okay, this one sure smells like a side angle side because these vertical angles are congruent right here, in the, and we have lengths on the included sides. Okay, so I want to see. There's a couple ways to do it. You can say um, uh, 6 over 4. Notice I went from left triangle over here, and I'll do right triangle, 15 over 10. Um, uh, you can do um, uh, top over bottom, top over bottom. I think that's the way I did that. Or you can do uh, small over small equals the big side on the left over the big side on the right. In, in any case, any one of those will work right there. Uh, vertical angles are congruent. So is that true? Is 6 over 4 equal to 15 over 10? And they both reduce to 3 halves. So yes, triangle um, uh, LNM is similar to triangle PNO. And notice I went from LNM, um, I went from the big side to the vertical angle. So I got to go from the big side to the vertical angle. So PNO, side angle side similarity. 
Okay, how about this? This one looks like a possibly be side, side, side. So I want to see um, uh, is the small side over the small side over here equal to the medium side over the medium side here equal to the big side over the big side. It has to be on all of them, you guys. So is it true? Um, no, because 20 over 11 doesn't reduce. These both reduce to 5 thirds, but this doesn't reduce at all. So this one's a big fat no on this one, you guys. It's uh, uh, they're not similar. If it was 20 over 12, then yes, because 20 over 12 would reduce to 5 thirds, but 20 over 11 doesn't. So not similar. Okay, what about these ones? This one looks like maybe side angle side because the included angle, they're both right angles. So is um, uh, small over small equal to uh, big over big? Okay, and I think I did the right triangle over the left triangle. I did, yeah. So is this small side over this small side equal to this big side over this big side? And if so, then I can say yes. Okay, 9 uh, nine thirtieths uh, reduces to 3 tenths, and 12 36 reduces to 1 third. Those are not the same, so those ones aren't similar either. Okay, how about this one? All right, this one looks like side, 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 so I'm going to do small on the left, which is uh, 20. Small on the right is 25. Medium on the left is 28. Medium on the right is uh, uh, 35. And then finally, big on the left and big on the right, is that equal to each other? So that's what I'm looking for right there. So if it is equal to each other, then yes, they're similar by side, side, side. And they all reduce to four-fifths. So yes, uh, similar by side, side, side. Okay? All right. So a building casts a shadow 26 uh, feet long. At the same time, a student who's 71 inches tall casts a shadow 48 inches uh, shadow. So how tall is the building? Okay, since these are in inches, you guys, and 72 is not a perfect round foot right there, um, I'm going to go ahead and change 26 uh, feet. 26 times 12 is uh, 312 feet. Look at that beautiful uh, building that I did right there. And a little picture that I copied from uh, Google Image right there. And then so uh, this is 312, this shadow right here. This shadow here is 48 inches. Um, and this person's 71 inches tall, so we want to know how tall is the building. Okay, well, what happens is, is they make similar triangles right there. Okay, and then I'm going to set up the proportion. Okay, uh, the upright piece over the upright piece equals the bottom piece over the bottom, bottom piece. And I always did um, uh, the big triangle went on top, so big over big, small over small. And then go ahead and cross multiply, and you get... Um, 461.5 inches, and uh, we want to know on feet how tall that is. So it's roughly about 38.5 uh, feet right there, okay? All right, good job, you guys.